Have you ever felt like your day just completely fell apart on you? Right, like you just wanna start the whole day over? Like uh, hit the reset button on the entire day? Maybe you had a bad interaction with somebody. Maybe you're in the middle of a conflict. Maybe somebody, you know, or something unexpected popped up that you weren't prepared for. And you just get totally thrown off. Thrown off your game plan and now you feel bad about yourself and you feel terrible about your day. It happens, listen, to everyone. It happens to me all the freaking time. I'm human, I'm emotional, I'm impacted by the world um, and what it does to me. I'm not a robot. I don't even wanna be a robot. But it doesn't mean I fold, right? I don't let a bad day become a bad week, become a bad month. I don't let it take me away from sight of my goals, right? A lot of people don't naturally have the resiliency to restart the day. And I include myself in that in years past but I have developed a process where I can quickly reset myself so that I always come back out on top. So here's what I do when the day overtakes me. Step one, just stop, just stop. You'd be surprised how counterintuitive this is. So many people, when they're getting anxious, when they're getting fearful, they keep plowing forward. My advice is stop. I personally stop everything that I'm doing. I close my laptop, I leave my office and I put my anxiety down into words. I take the frustration, the fear and anxiety, and I try to get it out into words. Now you could do this out, out loud, but I highly recommend that you use writing. I love writing because it's such a powerful way to move things from your subconscious, where you can't control or manipulate it, to your conscious mind where you can actually now start to do something about it. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Oh, that's what I'm feeling. So I put to words what I'm feeling and every session is different, but I'm always consistently surprised at what I discover in these sessions. I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling anxious, I'm feeling mad, whatever it could be. Even cry a little bit if I need to. Okay, then step two, come back to center. For me, I like to recite a mantra. I'm still here, I'm blessed with life, I'm gonna make the world a slightly better place today. Let's do this. That's my mantra. And I just keep reciting it again and again until I can get back to center, back to zero. For me, that just means a place where I'm no longer feeling like I'm drowning in anxiety and fear and, and resistance. Okay, step three, go back to the plan. Revisit the plan. A lot of people get derailed here because they didn't have a plan at all in the first place. Okay, mistake number one. They don't know what they should be doing. They don't know what they should prioritize. They're just literally out at sea without a paddle. Now I use my winning the week formula to plan my week. If you wanna learn that formula for pre-planning your week in less than 30 minutes, I'm gonna give it away totally free in a masterclass. You can register for it in the description below. I highly recommend it. I use it every single week, so do all my clients. So what I'm doing at this point, step three, is stopping to zoom out from the day and the tension of the moment, look at the week and see how I can get back on track. How can I still win my week even if I'm losing today? So I asked the question, what was the primary goal for the week? Not just today, the whole week. How can I still accomplish that goal given the new realities of what hit me today, my new time, my new energy profile? So I'm rearranging the pieces of my week so that even if I lose today, I still win the week. I know that's weird to say, it's almost like you're supposed to fight every single battle, but sometimes you, it's okay to lose a battle and win the war. Maybe today is totally shot, that's okay. You know, expecting yourself to be perfect or even good every single day is an impossible standard. You can't win every day, but you can always win your week. Think about that one. You know what I love about playing to win the week instead of trying to scratch out a win every day is that it, it opens the space for you not to have to be perfect. You can still have bad days and win your week. In fact, I'll go even further. You can feel like you lost every single day in a week and look back and realize that you won the week overall. Have you ever done that? Have you ever had what you felt like was a terrible week and then when you start writing down what you accomplished, you think, I actually had a great week this week. That's what I'm talking about. My client Alexis is a great example of this. She suffered really badly from perfectionism, just pushing herself to grow her franchise business, even as she tried to be the perfect mom to her three daughters. Now that focus on being perfect every day drove her like to the edge of madness. And I'm not kidding. There was like a crazy look in her eyes when we first spoke. So I got her using my winning the week formula to plan her week. She immediately felt a sense of relief because she saw that she could still have bad days, still have low energy days and come back from it to win the week. And that reveals something really important about winning your week. 
it just doesn't have to look pretty all the time to result in a win. And in fact, it can look pretty dang ugly sometimes and you can still win. So having a bad day doesn't mean that you can't win your week. I want you to think about yourself as the star player in the game of your life, right? Just like sports, the consequences of winning or losing one day is not life or death. You're not gonna be loved or hated for the game you play today. And you can lose a lot of games and still make it to the playoff of your life. Gang, ironically, there's a decent amount of losing involved in winning and even some winning involved in losing. So just remind yourself, this is the game of your life. This is the journey that you're on. So when that next bad day hits you, I want you to remember, stop. Use writing to access your subconscious thoughts. Center yourself, use a mantra or something that really empowers and centers you, and then revisit the plan, rearrange the pieces so that even if you're gonna lose today, you still win the week. You got this gang. And if you've got no planning system in place in your life and you feel like you desperately need one, I'm giving away my winning the week formula in my totally free masterclass that you can go register for in the description. No pressure, but just feel free to check it out if you feel like you need something like that. Now, I wanna hear from you. How do you turn your bad days around? I, I read all the comments, so please be as thorough as you like. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're obsessed with human potential and just living your best life like we are, consider subscribing to this channel. I'll see you in our next video.